didn't seem out of place. He wasn't. He wasn't frantic. He wasn't calm. He was. He. I just went straight for her feet, and and he was at her head, and 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 we picked her up. He, he had grabbed her under her arms, and I grabbed her under her legs. We picked her up and set her down. All right, so the story is that the neighbor comes over. You'll be Dr. McNeil. I'll be the neighbor. The neighbor grabs the legs, and they get Michelle out of the tub and on to the ground. Martin was at her head. Um, he was, he was, I guess you could say, uh, facilitating the CPR. He appeared to be giving her puffs of air. And that's when uh, Dr. McNeil's described as performing some form of CPR, Mike. Right, you know, so what he would have normally do is get up here, try to create some kind of airway, and then he would start his compressions. Now, was the neighbor helping too, or is he just gonna do 15? And then what is he gonna do? Was he gonna do two breaths to her? So again, we heard though, there was no trauma to the body, but how did that bloody water get there? I think Charles is right, is from all the drugs that she had on board, you know, it's consistent with, with uh, you know, an overdose that you might have some bleeding of the uh, of the GI tract. Let's talk about the CPR now, because when the emergency responders showed up, they said they performed CPR and some water came out of her mouth. At first it was clear, maybe three or four cups worth of water. We realized that more was gonna come out, so we rolled her to her side to try to get that out of her lungs. Um, about that same amount or more came out. The second volume was not as clear, it was more mucusy, bloody. Um, that actually got on myself and Officer Mossy. If he had been performing CPR, wouldn't it have been out already? You know, it, it would have been. It depends on how much water came out when the first responders were doing that. Because if you have someone like this, you're going to try to turn them on the side when you go to check for the airway. And if you see water in there, you're going to turn that person on the side and try to get some of that water out.